And then I was like, pronto? And she was like, hi. No, no in Italian. Excuse me, I was like, ciao. Hello everyone, my name is Giacomo and today I'm with Mia. And I've been thinking about making this video for a long time and we're now finally making it. I want to talk to you guys about WEP. Um, WEP is a company that gives students to have the chance to go and exchange anywhere in the world, pretty much. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, we're not experts, so we're telling our experiences. This is my second experience with WEP. I hosted another Australian girl uh, about two years ago. Basically what I did was going on the web website, I signed up my family and after a couple of weeks I got uh, a call from a coordinator mm -hmm. of my area. Yeah, yeah. And basically the first call is about explaining you the program and how it works for a host family, like for a family that want to host an exchange student. After that, um, you starting to receive um, profiles from students from all over the world. No photos, no nothing, just name and nationality and uh, passion, something like, like that. A description of yeah, like a very short description. And then you can decide which one uh, based on I don't know what you like and so. And like your similarities. Yeah. After I, we chose the profile, um, the coordinator came to our house for a little chat to, to meet the family and stuff. Um, they sent to the exchange student that a family uh, chose yeah. a student and then what? So um, WEP contacted me because I had been signed up, I had done all the paperwork which was so much paperwork, <laughs> so much, but um, after I got all that done I think a month or so later I got a call saying that I had placement in Italy, came here. Then they sent me all the details and I got yeah. to see the names and back again what their hobbies of the family were and yeah. what they did for work and same for us. Like when, where you, when yeah. <clears throat> when we chose the profile they sent us like photos, uh, like a full profile. Uh, yeah, and then we received the arrival date. Yeah. And it, it was arrival. like huh? and, then I arrival. and then she came. No, but our first phone call. Oh yeah, sure. I remember that because it was like afternoon in Italy. Yeah. And the phone started to ringing, and this number was obviously not from Italy. And then I was like, pronto? And she was like, hi. No, no in Italian. Excuse me. I was like, ciao. Uh, I had the, I had written it down. I'd planned it out. Like read it to my mom a thousand times. I was like, mom, is this right? Like, but because my mom is Italian, and um, I go. Ciao, mi chiamo Mia. And he goes, like I said, like so many Australia. I said that I was from Australia and blah blah blah. And he goes, oh okay. So do you want to speak English or Italian? I was like, yeah, probably English is better. <laughs> and then I just like threw down the pad and just, like, <laughs> kept on talking. I need to be honest. Like the first um, impression was very good because I mean Mia is uh, not good. Like no, no. My first impression was very great. And um, yeah, we were very happy. And the 5th of September, I arrived and we went to the train station to pick her up because they went to the stadium room for a couple of days. Like five, five days for an orientation. Like, just like, depending on where you're going, I think it's always in Rome if you come to Italy. But I think you go to the capital, what's it yeah. called? Capital cities of each country and you spend five, day, five days there doing getting to know the other exchange students, like exercises, um, getting to know the WEP rules and what you can and can't do, preparing yourself to live with a family, um, all that kind of yeah. stuff. So just prepare to go and meet a family. And live yeah, because obviously when you host <clears throat> and when you go, cultures are different. Yeah. So after the five days in Rome, we were all given our schedules of how to get to our town. I'm living in Bologna, Italy, which is, I guess, in the middle of Florence and Venice. That's how I describe it to all my family in Australia anyway. So I took a train to get here and when I arrived, I was greeted by the Akhantora family. 
um, and my coordinator was there, so they had it very organised, made sure that like everyone got it off where they needed to get it and was with their family, so I wasn't stranded alone in the train station by yeah. myself my first day. I wasn't that nervous to meet you. Yeah. I wasn't that nervous yeah. to meet you because we had spoken quite a bit before and we were like messaging, yeah. messaging each other and um, That was very helpful for both of us. Yeah, because there were a lot of other people who was like, Oh I haven't spoken to my host family, I don't know what they're like. How could you don't not that. Your, how could you not speak with them? Like that's a really important thing. Get to know them a little bit before you come. So yeah, make sure that you you get to know them a bit so it's not Super, super awkward when you first rock up because it's just terrible. But um, yeah, no. And also, if you never like have a Skype call, it's hard to recognize you. Like, oh my getting god, off the train. Do you know? For a second there, though, I thought Mary Angela was like some your sister or something. <laughs> Mary Angela's the coordinator, but I had no idea. She was like, I just got up and I was like, and I saw you and you like, and Mary Angela. <laughs> Yeah, hello. I was like, who are you? Because I've never met her. Yeah, and also for our host family, it's like an experience. Like the first one was very tough because we never did something like that before, ever before. The first experience, my mom was like very, like pushing me to Georgia, like, oh, ask her every minute if she needs something. And that was very, like, stressful for me. Because oh. every second, my, my mom was like, oh, ask her if she needs something, ask her if she needs something. That's completely wrong. Because I mean, they have to, if they need help, they will ask you. If they need something, they will ask you. Apart from this, it was a great experience. And this is great as well, because this experience is like a, almost six months long. And we're enjoying our time pretty much a lot. And, <laughs> and Mia is very funny and we get along very well. It's just... A great experience um, that I mean I always suggest to people to do it because um, it's boring to say that opens your mind but it's pretty much like that because you knew you like you have the, the opportunity to, opportunity to know a new culture a new lifestyle a new person that is living on the other side of the world and you will ever 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 have this like connection mm -hmm. I mean we will always be friends yeah. Whatever, because like six months living together is like a long period of time, and you cr even with Georgia, we we like chat and stuff, we send pictures, and you create a long-lasting uh, relationship with another person. Yeah, I think we will do it again because it's a very great experience, and uh, the first time we always cared because it was something new for us but now every, like everybody in my family is enjoying it and I hope I'm not talking about you I'm talking about the experience oh fine so well I'm part of the experience uh, no so bye <laughs> and to be honest with you I'm kind of sad because Mia is leaving in two weeks and very sad not kind of sad I'm very, no, to be honest, I'm very sad because, I mean, six months is a bit part, like, it's a big period of time. Half a year. Yeah. And, um, she, so she's living in two weeks and we are kind of sad. My sister is, like, very sad because, I mean, they shared a room. Yeah, a room. Night for six months. Yeah, and also, like, they went to the same school and they, uh, I mean, they were, like, sisters for six months. Okay. So it will be very tough for her and but what like what I said before it's like a long lasting relationship so, so um, I think we will definitely go to Australia. We've never been there but we'll be we'll be going there very soon, I hope very soon. We'll definitely go to Melbourne to yeah. see this girl. And also Georgia because they same from they're Melbourne. both from Melbourne. It's just a great thing that I always tell everybody to do it because it's just a great thing. Don't be too afraid, not just in the language but on, in also the culture, to make mistakes, I guess. Yeah. Broke a few things here. Yeah. Just, just more than a few, I think. What and did she I could, break? Uh, the elevator, the seat. Yeah. And yeah, be careful with Australians if they're like, like Mia. I'm gonna work class. Yeah.
Uh, I'm so sorry that we didn't prepare anything for this video, so it's kind of just rambling. Yeah, it's very random and we just chat. I hope you find this video helpful and again, we're not ex I mean, I don't know everything about apps, so go on the no, website. It's just our experience with it. Yeah, it, like just our experience. Which is and, amazing. Yeah. And go on the website to find out more about their stuff. And that was pretty much everything. Yeah. And so thank you so much for watching and go on the website. Go and on exchange. Go come on to exchange. Italy. Of course, come to Italy in Bologna. Italy. You're probably going you're to be. Your food's good. That's my thing. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I'm gonna put that. <laughs>